Hey guys, today I'm going to share something special. I'm going to share how I turn information into knowledge or my own mind expansion pipeline. I'm going to tell you why, how and what tools do I use and the four stages of actually doing that. So why do I need it? As a software developer, I want to learn tech stuff as fast as I can, stay in touch with new technologies and has a like a knowledge base uh, from what I can apply actual knowledge items to my development processes. As a creator, I want to catch inspirations from other creators and combine them to some sort of my own ideas. And as a forever learner, I want to remember everything what I read and what I found interesting and uh, have a quick access to all of it. I'm trying to streamline my processes by quick capture things on a go or wherever I want to, by consuming mindfully uh, processing, highlighting things and have a short access to any notes that I have. And what tools do I use? I use Google Keep for quick note capturing. I use Notion Web Clipper to clip websites across the internet. I use Notion Notion because of comprehensive databases there and there I can like set up my consuming pipeline really well. And finally I use Obsidian as my personal knowledge base. I already had a video on that. You can check it out later. So let's go to the four stages that I mentioned. Stage one is about how do I capture things. Let's assume I want to know more about event-driven architecture, so I get a short note in my Google Keep, so I can figure it out later. Once I got back to my Google Keep, when I see that note, I can go to Google search and find some good article about that. I also searching through the first Google page and usually it is something to check it out. When I find an article, I use Notion Web Clipper to add it to my Notion database with all the media that I captured. Later I catch that media in my Notion database. I have a special view with all incoming media that I have clipped and I am adding a few fields just to give a note some context. The second stage is about how do I consume that media that I captured. When I have a free minute uh, or 10 minutes or more, I can just read it and if I find something interesting, I can highlight it or add some comments if I have some insights on that certain part of article. In case of videos, I am just jot some comments under the video page in my Notion. And uh, when I read books, I use Amazon Kindle to add some quick highlights and notes as well as in the Notion media page. Stage 3 about processing and organizing uh, that certain highlights that I have from media or books. I go through them from top to bottom and if I still find it interesting I just add it to my Obsidian knowledge base. Uh, everything I have in my knowledge base is written by myself. And the fourth stage is about getting that into work. Remember one thing, the real knowledge is that you have applied on the real projects. So why I need any piece of information? I just go to my Obsidian knowledge base has very good search function and I easily can find the thing I want to and uh, go through my notes on that. Also I want to mention the topic system that I have. Every media that I captured uh, has its own topic. Uh, it's like a themes or subjects so I can add some priority to topic and in that way I can rank my articles on that topic upper and process them before everything else. I use it in case of some urgency. For example, I'm preparing for interview and I want to know more about, let's say, Amazon Web Services so I can clip articles exactly on that topic and easily catch them later above all when I go through my mind expansion board. I want to mention some inspirations. The mind expansion pipeline itself uh, was stolen for me from August Bradley. I highly recommend to see the videos of that guy. The second brain concept was stolen as well for me from Tiago Forte. I really love his video and 
also I want to mention Ali Abdal, that guy is inspired me in the continuous improvement of knowledge, gathering, sharing and turning into a real project. Also I want to mention that pipeline I have is continuously being changed, so probably after a year you will see a completely different pipeline and knowledge sharing. So if you like the video, I am expecting you to give me a like and do hit the subscribe button to get more about knowledge sharing, software development and project management. See you!